So for the uninitiated, or just in case you've lived under a rock for the past decade, iCarly was a sitcom that was aimed towards kids and teens that aired from September 8, 2007 to November 23, 2012. The show followed a group of kids, Carly, Sam, and Freddie, who would have a hit web series called iCarly, where they entertained other web-savvy kids with live shows online that included extremely random bits. Anyway, throughout the show, it was made clear that Freddy, the geeky behind-the-scenes friend of the group, had a crush on Carly, one of the web series hosts and the main character of the TV series. Despite Carly swerving Freddy's advances for years, Freddy persevered and continued to crush on Carly throughout the majority of the show. That is, until this happened. Oh, Lane. This was a shock to the audience of the TV show, and evidently to Carly as well. We kissed. This dilemma drove a small portion of the plot of the TV show for a handful of episodes, and soon after, the show was over. Then, six years following the ending of the show, someone tweets this. I still can't believe Carly had the audacity to get mad that Sam and Freddy kissed like she wasn't curving that dude for three years straight. Then, a copy of this tweet gets posted on the Nice Girls subreddit. With the title, We Forget Carly Was a Real Nice Girl Sometimes. A majority of the comments agree with the sentiment of the tweet, saying things like, Carly was honestly a b she broke up with a guy because he had a geeky hobby and was actually a good guy and not a bad boy. She used the fact that Freddie liked her to get him to do stuff for her, and she would push what she wanted on other people. I liked Sam because at least she was real. She had a horrible home life and made it clear that she gave no real f She didn't act nice while being an entitled f Sam and Freddie were meant to be from the start. Carly was just in the way. Wow. Others, however, argued in the comments that she wasn't mad they kissed. She was mad that they kissed and kept it a secret. Come on, guys. Do you ever remember? SMH. While these comments seem to convey the main reason why Carly was angry, here's why they're wrong, using economics. Every action in and of itself contains certain levels of utility and disutility. For example, in a simplified situation, Say driving to the grocery store and getting four apples will give me four units of utility, or one unit of utility for each apple gained. However, the situation also requires me to do stuff that I don't like, driving to the store, spending money, and using up my gas. These actions then grant me negative utility of, say, negative 0.3 or negative 0.1 per action, making the net utility of the whole situation 3.7. Every moment in your life, if taken a snapshot of, therefore, contains a certain level of value in it, which is a combination of all these utilities added up. Now, let's look at Carly. Her situation involves a VS, or value of her single state of life, and VR, or the value of her life in a relationship. In the state VS, she has a utility of S. In every moment that she has a V equal to VS, a potential mate is present offering her level of utility R should she take it. In a relationship with this mate, her VR would then equal R. Carly will then compare every possible suitor to this level of R. Because there are possibilities that the relationship will survive and fail, these probabilities are used by Carly to calculate the expected value of her relationship, discounting the value in the future. Furthermore, in these equations, it can be theorized that Freddie was the suitor that Carly compares others to. It might be possible that Carly would only take a level of R which is strictly greater than what Freddie offers. It is evident that Freddie did not meet this level of R that Carly had prescribed for herself, which explains why she never took up Freddie's advances. Now consider the situation where Freddie kisses Sam. This removes the aspect of comparison from Carly's situation. She is no longer offered a free suitor in her VS state. With the probability P that Freddie begins to develop feelings for Sam and leaves Carly with no consistent mate in V of S, here are the new equations. 
Given this analysis of expected value, it is clear that Carly is in fact jealous of the fact that Freddie and Sam kissed. Because she has no longer a consistent level of secure value from Freddie simping for her, her value of not reciprocating his love takes a dive. At this point, maybe reciprocating love would have yielded more value. Taking all this into account, Carly was not angry at the fact that she was out of the loop. Her situation's utility was unfavorable after Freddie and Sam kissed. Who knows what would have happened if Carly reciprocated from the start. We probably would have gotten a completely different show. So to everyone watching, always keep your utility in mind.